Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what did I know? You, Tommy? Come on, this yeah. Your tank. Boss is back. waiting for you. Thanks. Ignora quel idiota. Arrenditi. Ah, potrai combattere ancora. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Polly and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real mean. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. I right, open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing, needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you, it's Finney. You guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said... You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Come on, Tommy. Show me what you can do. P -p Please, Tommy. Come, okay. It's good car. You got it. Have a good day, p -p fellas. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. Seems so. That's too bad.
Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? You gonna take all day, Tommy? Where's the money? We got places we need to be. Voi ci succhiate il sangue. It's on the table, brown envelope. Via di qui. Lasciateci in pace. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma, huh? It uh, was a real pleasure meeting you. Okay, next up, we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Yeah, my landlady. She's old and she drinks. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. 
He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week. Put some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before I lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it, too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Okay, there it is. Finally! Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on.
you up. I'll open you up. See? Sam, oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Uh, come on, you'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money!
was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just don't look. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared him to look in the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. His grills a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. <laughs> Tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street, head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, huh. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Eh. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. 
We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this. Man. I have a spot. Hey, hey, buona sera, Tom. Oh, yeah. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. I'd have sent him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more 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 interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then the next guy... He's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know.
You Bobby? Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning, they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. <sighs> Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C-Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, 
Anything for the right price. Let's just hope Celieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Back. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on it. Cause I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moments? No. Oh. Jeffrey, we've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From 
Europe. We got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. They're off. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with his car. Lichtenberg is out. The favorite is out. Who's going to survive the Lost Heaven Circuit's famous first? Here, bitch! And I see some collisions. Some of these drivers mean business. There's more than paperwork getting straight in there today. You're kidding me! Are these the final podium places, or is it someone else's time to shine? Jason, are you kidding me? Tommy Angelo, thanks for the heat. What a race today, folks. The drive has been incredible. From Angelo. Up close and personal with the back leaders. This race is far from over. What? You kidding me? Some drivers really starting to stretch out ahead now. No longer a contender. The front three are jostling for position. Ah, crap, asshole! Let's hope for a safe race today, folks. McKellen is leading. Moore not far behind. Anyone could win. Anderson and Garcia are in second and third, waiting for him to take for Angelo. The leading drivers are on the final lap. Not long till it's all over, folks. Angelo is still out in front. Can he hold on? Anderson, Angelo, all still in the mix, with time still left to go. the leading 
driver, Tommy Angelo. Tommy, there's <laughs> our winner. Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure, thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Colettis. Well, enjoy the moment. But Great race, race champ. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. Great run, Tommy. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom. I had a gun to your head. You're saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Cow says moo and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? 
What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a... some kind of race car driver. We all got a... Doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Whoever the hell he goes home to. Hey, Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right. Now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Ooh-hoo-hoo! I'll leave it to you to swim with the Barracudas, Bowie. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. Uh, home? Brought me home? Mm, maybe... Maybe that's... Yeah. A good idea. Yeah, well... Okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I... I don't feel so good. <laughs>